right, ladies. Saddle up. She's a woman, but she still manages to make that sound like an insult. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves. Movie adaptations of video games have typically been pretty awful. So when I heard there was a live action Monster Hunter movie coming to the big screen, I was skeptical to say the least. Monster Hunter is a gaming franchise that I will always hold near and dear to my heart. I've played a good handful of games in the series, but none have matched my affinity for Monster Hunter Free Unite on the PSP. I've spent almost 2,000 hours on just that game. I've always considered it probably one of my favorite video games of all time, and it's easily the most time I've ever spent into a game. Every weekend, me and one of my best friends I would consider like a brother to me would go over to either his house or mine to just play Monster Hunter together all weekend, from sun up to sundown, only taking breaks to eat or sleep, and we did this for years, even playing solo to grind further to completing the game. We had to be the G-ranked Hunters of Legends. I mean, I soloed Ukenloos, which is something I still consider one of my greatest gaming achievements in my life. The thing I love so much about Monster Hunter is the grind to power, something I normally hate in other games, but in this series it's so well balanced that it's not only challenging, but it's rewarding to grow without feeling impossible. Every time you kill that giant monster, it feels like a true feat. The amount of adrenaline I would get from that objective clear cutscene with the triumphant music after a long onslaught battle has been unmatched in any other game. The core gameplay of Monster Hunter is you start off small and build up to legendary monsters that are truly intimidating. You craft or upgrade new armor and weapons by collecting items or killing monsters to hopefully get the item that you need for that awesome new sword or armor set to help you advance further into the game. The stories to the game are pretty much always there's some big monster terrorizing something and you need to kill it when you're ready. It's simple because the main focus of these games is solely on the gameplay. The thrill of tracking down that monster, having an epic boss fight with it, then building the kick-ass armor set out of its dead remains. To me, Monster Hunter has always shined the brightest as a co-op game. To coordinate with friends to take down giant monsters is so satisfying and fun. Me and my buddy had Freedom Unite down to a science. We worked as a well-oiled machine to take down literally every monster in the game multiple times to craft whatever we wanted. We were decorated hunters and the fact that I sold off my PSP along with Monster Hunter will forever haunt me as one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. So many hours wasted. With my love of the franchise, I knew going into this film I should go in with an open mind. Try not to think about the games, but only what the movie presents. When I found out Paul W.S. Anderson and Mila Jovovich was involved, I became curious because this is the same team that made the Resident Evil movies, and I actually really enjoy those. Now, with a grain of salt, I am not a fan of the Resident Evil games, but to me the movies were just fun popcorn flicks that made for good background noise. Then I saw that Tony Jaw hopped on the project along with Ron Perlman, Amen, Jesus! <laughs> and the release of the first image for this movie made me pretty excited. It looked like Monster Hunter. Then, the army image was released. With that one image, every bit of steam was taken out of me. Monster Hunter is a game in a series set in a different world and time. Alright, what's up everybody? We are back to some popper after a long stint of modern <laughs> the apex gaming weekend is over i uh, had a wonderful time i do just want to say thanks right out of the gate to tandy todd anderson and um what's up jared and uh, apex and the crew for having me out it was a super fun weekend went four four in modern uh deck did not run super hot but i feel confident in my play paths uh, i only missed a couple triggers the entire event so that's cool and uh and pioneer i did the pioneer where i took the challenger deck ended up three and four at the challenger deck you know two of those might have been a buy but it doesn't matter <laughs> um had a lot of fun it was a great weekend uh, i got some cool footage i think there's gonna be some fun videos coming out but we are back with popper and i haven't played popper since i left for vacation and since then, the Commander Masters wave has kicked in, and I, have, I haven't I have really kept up too much with it, where I've been kind of invested in modern, and I, I, I'm really curious to see what's going on here. Magic is online now? Yeah. Magic Online's been 
up forever. Um, but we are playing some Popper. We are going to be testing most of this week Crash of the Rhino Beetles. This is a card that uh, is probably one of my favorite cards of the set. I just like this card. I think it's cool. I like the artwork. I like the ability. It is a 5-5 five, five Trampler for 5 that uh, gets plus 10, plus 10 as long as we control 10 or more lands. So this build of the deck, I'm going to tinker with this card a little bit because I actually think, I think this is a powerful creature, uh, especially as like a late game bomb. But what we're going to try to do is ramp into 10 lands so we can play a 15-15 for 5 with Trample and then just get in with it. So what are we doing with the deck? Well, we are in Tamir Colors. What's up, Pascal? Yeah, the beetle was a rare. Guess it was downshifted into a, um, downshifted into a common. So <clears throat> it was released in two thousand and two. Yeah, Magic Online has been around for a while. The beetle was somewhere in the commander product, in a commander product. Yeah, I think it's only been released in commander stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go over what's going on here. Well, we're in the Tamir colors because we're going to be using Growth Spiral and Cleansing Wildfire to kind of ramp along with Arboreal Grazer and Kadamina's Reach. So let's just go over our mana base. We're at six forests, one Highland Forest, one Island, one Mountain, one Rim Fall, when Rim, <laughs> Rimewood Falls, one Silver Bluff Bridge, four Slagwoods Bridge, four Tangle Pool Bridges, and one Volatile Fort. Fajord, I don't know how you say that. And the reason why we're heavier into the green is for a Boreal Grazer. A Boreal Grazer is a one drop zero three that when it enters the battlefield, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. So the idea is like we kind of want, if we can get an untapped green source, a Boreal Grazer, put one of our other lands onto the field, then we could start using cards like Cleansing Wildfire and Growth Spiral and Kadama's Reach to start ramping. Like a green nightmare, it's hard to break when it needs a lot of lands to function. Yeah, well, that's why we're messing with it. I like this card a lot. I want it. I want it to be, you know, semi-competitive. I guess I don't know. I just like this card a lot. Maybe it is just a commander card, but I like it. So <clears throat> we're using cleansing wildfire to target our artifact lands to ramp. We're using growth spiral to draw a card and to put more lands onto the field. We're using breath weapon to stave off our opponents, to clean up the board. We're using Kadama's Reach to find lands. We can use this to search library for up to two basic lands, reveal those cards, put one of them onto the battlefield, tap the other one into your hand, then shuffle. We're using Pulsa Marassa to pick up lands that maybe we need a Cleansing Wildfire, a non-artifact land. Uh, we can use that to pick up, but also we're kind of a little light on the creature package. So we're using Pulsa Marassa to pick our creatures back up if they get removed gain some life to stabilize, you know, a little bit. And then we have Oliphant and Generous Int and Lorian Revealed as land cyclers to find cards like the Forge or Fajord or Highland Forest or Rhinewood Forest Falls or any of our basics. We're using Lorian, the Elephant, and the Generous Int to find those up. And then our big payoff card is, yeah, we can play these guys, right? But our big payoffs is the four of Rhino Beetles. And that's kind of like, that's that's just where we're kind of going in at. Uh, <clears throat> and like I said, I have no idea how playable this is. This is something I just put together because, like I said, I really like Rhino Beetles. So I just want this card to kind of work. And I thought if we can play all the cards that are staples to ramp in with, then we should be good. Kadama's Reach is also a, a downshift, I believe. I believe this is also a downshift, so I'm curious to see how this card runs. Uh, Sideboard-wise, we're just hating on cards. De Glamour to hate on artifact stuff. Fairy Macabre, because I've heard one land spy has been crazy. And then we just have the suite of the Hydro and Red Elemental Blasts and Call It Done kind of thing. Um, yeah, so let, let's just get into some games, see how this goes for us. I'm a little bit curious. Um, hopefully it's fun. Magic Online did that thing again where it's like anytime I shut down the computer, Magic Online has to like re-download and reinstall. So I don't know what's going on there. 
Maybe it'll get fixed in the next update. I would like to go first. This is a kind of a slow hand. We do got a lot of ramp though. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it. We're keeping it for scientific reasons. One land spy is the most crazy in the practice room. I figured it probably would be. I'm gonna lead on the artifact lane in case we top deck cleansing wildfire. Okay, so we're against probably Fey or Terror, I guess. At least we got a turn one play with Relic, right? Why is our land snow? It's just one of the. I just had these. It's the. They're the mountain forest dual lands, so you can search them up with the cyclers, and I had these ones. That's the only reason why they're the snow lands. So I'm going to assume Terror here. I should have uh, auto yielded there. Uh, not auto yield, but I should have done this. I'm just going to do it now. Island, and let's just grab the forest, put the island onto the field, put the forest in hand, pass. Boomerang. That's annoying. Can't quite tear her yet. Our rhinos are a little bit bigger than the terrors. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they'll be one off a of terror. Uh, I guess they could probably tear. What's up, pigeon? It's good after a long, after a long run of uh, modern. It is good to like, you know, it's, it feels good to be here to play popper. All right, so I'm going to play the Grazer, right? Damn it, I did this backwards. I did this backwards. Oh, uh, just quick, th just a quick thing. I see many decks, especially Boros Synth, adding Relic Regenus in the main deck. Why is it in the main? Uh, because we're super slow and it fights against Terror and Spy. That's why. I did this backwards. It needed to go Kadama's Reach and then the Arboreal Grazer. I didn't do that. Um, I'm just going to draw a card. I mean, you know, Relic's a little bit of a Nambo with uh, Pulse of Marasa, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, that card. Yep. Forgot that's a card that exists, too. Getting in for five. Sure. Lauren Revealed is kind of interesting. Yeah, Breath Weapon's not a dead card anymore, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just going to reach here. Our cleansing wildfires are getting to the point where they're going to be dead, though. That's for sure. Uh, play our land for turn. Just going to pass.
Grazier's going to go underneath the Talarian Terror here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Growth Spiral. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're still on only eight. Hmm. I'm starting to see this grow to ten might be a bit of a problem. Brainstorm, sure. Not sure how our deck beats Untapped Islands. Pyroblast. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um... Do that. They get another burb. This Delver boy is going to flip. Nope. That's interesting. You would have thought with Brainstorm they would have got it to flip. Breath weapon you. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, I'm just going to scoop to that. Well, welcome back to Popper, I suppose. Uh, yep, just red elemental blast is all I'm going to bring in. Let's trim out. I'm going to keep breath loving for the murmuring. 17 minutes later. <laughs> What's up, bull? False would be better with fetches, but I'm not sure we can run those. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's try this. <clears throat> We got up to eight mana, but then we were kind of just out of like any more ramp. So I guess, yeah, I guess that threshold of 10 might be a lot harder to get to than what I thought it would on paper. You know what I mean? Yikes. This hand's more than likely a mulligan. Okay, this hand's better. Keep this. I'm going to bottom. Regretfully. Lead on Tanglewood. Pass. Play the Grazer. Let's throw down Highland Forest. Play Tanglewood for turn pass. Yeah, I haven't been in Popper for a while, so I'm kind of walking in. I've heard Commander Masters has been a little bit buck wild, so we'll see what's going on. Probably going to be going back to Popper on Magic Online with Simic or something. Just need a fresh look at the format. Feel it. Relic's going to be nice for us.
No, let's not do that. Let's do this. You're a douche. Do this. <laughs> There are some serpents in Demir and all that glitters and boggles. Not a lot of changes on the top decks. Oh yeah, but I've heard like this bird card has like been really, really good. And I've heard, you know what I mean? So they're out there. So let's crash. Let's crash here. Yeah, Crash of the Rhino Beetle just might not be a card, you know what I mean? It's good, but resolving and protecting a four drop as hell. What's up, Lotus? Feel it. Um I Might just draw with the Lorian revealed, honestly. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> sure. Two weeks of Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy content has been great. I wasn't prepared for the other formats. Wasn't prepared to like the other formats so much. Awesome. I The little bit that I played of Pioneer yesterday, I, I actually want to start checking Pioneer out. I really like some of the decks I saw. That Mono Green Devotion deck, though, is absolutely buck wild. Like, it is crazy. <laughs> When I played against that deck, I was just like, this is nuts. This deck is so annoying. So I'm 5C Ruga? Not heard of that one. I played against, in that Pioneer tournament, round one, I was against... Uh, I was on camera. I was on the backup feature match. I played against this Thassa Oracle like combo deck with um, Archfiend of Draws or something. Damn it, I wanted to cycle that. I know Beatles again. Go on your spell. Uh, then I played uh, against uh, Mill. That was cool. The Mill deck I played against was really cool. Uh, the person, shout out to Hex, who I played against. He was super, super friendly. It was a lot of fun. What's up, Matt? Thank you so much. Um, what's up, Ragamuffin? How many lands are you looking to play with, with this beetle deck? We're on 20 lands right now. But we're trying to get to... Obviously trying to get to 10, but it's not been working out super well for us. If they counter this, I'm just going to scoop. Alright, well that was annoying. Um, <clears throat> Then I played... Then I had... A, my opponent didn't show... They dropped without telling anybody. So I got a free win that way. <laughs> then I played against Rakdos Sacrifice. And I'm going to keep this. The Rakdos Sack was... Uh, we just kept glory bringing them. <laughs> and that was that. Then I went on to play against the Mono Green Devotion. Which was, like I said, absolutely crazy. Then from there we went to play against. Am I playing against another Merc? Uh, not Merc Tide. Another uh, 
terror deck. Yes. Is that what this is now? Is it just all terror? Terror is already annoying enough to play against. Uh, let's grab a forest. Then I played against this really cool... They were round one of the Pioneer on uh, Apex's stream. They were the feature feature match. And it was some kind of weird, like, infinite damage combo deck that was really cool. So, you know, got third at FNM and top eight store championship first tourney since they changed the mulligan. Hey, that's what's up. Congratulations. What was you playing, Matt? Um, <clears throat> it was nice to put Goblin Guide on the stack again. <laughs> oh, crap. That's awesome. 11-11. That's sweet. So you're playing Burn. Corey Baumeister was rocking that Jeskai Breach. Yeah. I, I didn't really see like what Breach was really doing that much. Um, that looks pretty good. Lords love Burroughs Born. Burroughs Burn. Big same. All right. I still think we just play this relic. It's definitely annoying. <clears throat> the Lord's deck. It was so funny. I think everyone was expecting grindy matchups, and then I played GG on turn one. My opponent abruptly said, oh shit, you were playing burn. <laughs> and then they got dead. That's funny. Yup. There's the other terror card. Um, Just gonna graze first. You onto the field. You is turn. Play you. Grab you and you. My last two basics. Put you onto the field. Sent that spicy Death Shadow deck playing that troll was per with Persist. Yeah, I played against that twice when I was playing 8-Rack. We have 11 of our lands in hand. Let's go find our big boy. We'll take this shot. So annoying my MTGO keeps on. It does to me too. It's been doing to that to me since all of last week. Like since the last update. It does it to me too. Them, them rhinos stay at home if you're sick. Come over if you thick. <laughs> My modern matchups for with eight rack. I will say this: I was playing the scam eight rack, and I literally only one time, only one time got to scam with the eight rack on turn one grief. One time. So that was a little obnoxious for obvious reasons. Uh, we can't cast this Lorian revealed yet, can we? Damn. This Kadama's reach is worthless. All right, I'll just yield. Yeah, about the same here. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the deal is. So my modern matchups was round one. I was against blue black Merktide. Took him down. 
what is this deck real estate simulator pretty much not doing anything else am i um normally the scam decks have more evoke creatures and fury yeah but when i played on magic online like we would evoke grief turn one very consistently like probably not every other game but like at least every one in three games we would turn one grief and i did it one time in eight rounds <laughs> <laughs> I just did I just did not draw. So turn game one was against Blue Black Murktide. Uh the rack I think is very favorable in that matchup. Um won that round. Then round two I went against uh Scam and took Scam out. We out scammed the scammers. Uh probably want some fierce empath, bro. What's that one? Excuse me. Uh, when Fierce and Path of the Battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost six or greater. Yeah, that could be that could be a card for sure. I'm open to ideas. Obviously, uh, we're trying to get. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe now seeing it in practice, I'm like one like match and a half in, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe <laughs> I said maybe. Uh. I don't know, like if if it's even feasible. <laughs> um, the Beatles a five drop. Yeah, yeah, so that should work. I read something about installing uh, MTGO from where the files are instead of auto installer, but I haven't tried that yet. I haven't either. Is it six or greater? I thought I read it as six or less. My bad. Well. We're probably probably dead here. Grazer, Grazer, and the elephant, eh? Hey? Blockers for days. We got our lands. We just got to find them. How do we tutor beetle? I don't know. <laughs> Having only four payoffs and a blue meta looks hard. Yeah. Sort of think this isn't the way. This is not the the way. I can cast a Nula Log now. We have ex we have successfully ramped. <laughs> that is true. Uh, then round three was against Burn, and I got blitzed by Burn. My Burn player might as well have just played Solitaire. Uh, got absolutely wrecked by burn. were not even close. Not even close matches. Um, then round four. What did I play round four? I honestly can't remember what I played round four. What did I play round four? I lost to it. I know that much. I can't remember. I know, it's been a long weekend of magic, <laughs> to say the least. I ended up 4 4. What I ended up. And uh, I will say, out of all the testing that I did leading up with Rack Scam, Scam Rack, into the tournament, the deck ran tremendously worse than it did on Magic Online. But I feel pretty good. I only missed a couple triggers, but they weren't like they 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 wouldn't have mattered. You know what I mean? Like they really didn't affect the game that much. They don't counter this. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Um. But yeah, but I did I did take down Tron last round in a very kind of brutal way. This is when they just boomerang my shit. We are not running Brainstorm. Maybe we should. I feel like trying to make some kind of Demir control deck, no fancy tricks. Just want to play all the best blue and black cards. Do it, Ragamuffin. Also, I don't know if you care or not, Ragamuffin, but your membership did elapse. All right. They're just going to snap. Whatever. 
Uh, same thing, I guess. Uh, let's go down two pulse of morasses and one breath weapon. But uh, <clears throat> we definitely got the land there that time. <laughs> you know, didn't do much of anything else, but we definitely got the land there. I just like this Rhino Beetle card. Maybe it is just a commander card. You know what I mean? Maybe in like a constructed format like this, it's too hard to get up to 10, 10 mana. 10 mana. 10 lands. It's easy to get 10 mana. It's hard to get to 10 lands, right? That's the difference. It's not if you can have... If you can tap for more than 10 mana, then... You know what I mean? What's up, Moist? I think your best bet is to use a card is just to use a Wildfire Ponza Shell and Cascade into the Beetle. Yeah, you're probably right. I wanted to go more of like the Arboreal Grazer Growth Spiral Cleansing Wildfire because I like those cards. Which I guess you could use Wildfire and Ponza, right? Uh, mulligan this. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just play one more. And then we'll take a look at stuff. That's the Donnie difference. <laughs> I don't get that. Ted 2. Yeah, I don't remember Ted 2 very much. Yeah, I had a great time. Apex Gaming's doing some sweet things. Uh, really cool. Yeah, it did. I feel like I'm swamped with my new job, so didn't have much time to play Magic, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries. Um, no worries. I get that. I've been, like, super busy, too. Uh, bleh. This hand, huh? Like this is I'm just gonna keep it. We're gonna have the mana to cast stuff, right? Just gonna lead on Slagwood Bridge and then we'll go from there. I just hope this isn't another Oh What's up, Pigeon? <laughs> I didn't realize this is a pigeon. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I didn't realize that was you until I looked up and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know that name. I know that name around these pots. Uh, if you're going to go more that way, maybe using Coiling Oracle or Kalani Heart Expedition, yeah. There's definitely cards out there I don't know or can't or didn't remember of, but I actually think you're probably right, Moist. I think it's probably better in the um it's probably better in the like Ponza Shell would be Beetles. And it's probably better as like a two of. I don't know. It's a five five for five of trample. Like that's not bad on its own. That's not bad stats, you know. But you're probably right. The wolf is getting in. I'm gonna assume there's a five four plant puppy coming eventually. I meant to cycle one of these dudes. Uh that's okay. Cause we're gonna grow spiral here. We did get a breath weapon, that's kind of cool. Coiling Oracle for sure, anything churn through the deck. A yeah, Coiling Oracle would be cool. Gross. Is this Plant Pupper? Okay. Cycle, let's get we need a second red source? I don't think we do, right? Uh, I am going to get a second blue source though this time. Because that we do kind of need. Play you. Pass. Bonnie Heart Expedition has great synergy with Capina lands. Hold on. I got to read what that does then. Heart Expedition 
Enchantment, landfall, whenever a land is battlefield under control, you may put a quest counter on the expedition, remove threat quest counters, sacrifice the search library for two basic land cards, put them in the battlefield, tapped. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Probably just going to breath weapon here, honestly. They get both the puppy and the rancor back, though. Four pulse, four breath. Yep. <laughs> well, I figured we'll be cycling these dudes a lot. So, like, why not put pulse and morass in the deck? You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Four pulse can pick up cycle creatures. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's true. And the lands. You're right. You are right about that. Hmm. We're, we're churning here. We're churning some butter. Still pretty milky, but we're getting some butter down. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. Time to motherfucking crash. But yeah, just for anybody wondering, Codwell, Ohio, if you're around that area, Apex Gaming's doing awesome things. And I'm just really thankful they got they let me come out. It's a sweet store. And I'm definitely gonna be checking out some more of their paper tournaments in the future. Hopefully they'll have me back as a guest, but I would definitely go back. Okay. Hmm. We've got the options. I think this is the first option here. Okay. I'd like some black mana, but the deck's refusing to cooperate. I was wondering if it was Golgari or Mono. Um... This might be a weird choice, but I'm going to play Relic here. I'm not going to attack yet. Well, I guess it's mono now. Well, Rhino is probably going to die, right? We'd be one mana away from having 10 for the Rhino Beetles. But I kind of like Pulse Morass to pick up Generous Scent and just throw down Elephant and Generous Scent. You know what I mean? Guild Swarm Prowler. Yeah. I don't think I, okay. That makes my life a little bit easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't... Eight. So I can't Pulse Morass and play a creature. So let's play a Tap Land. And just pass. And we'll pulse Marassa on their turn. Yoda Swarm Prowler's gonna get in. They're both gonna get in. I'm not gonna block here. I smell something. If the Rhino dies, I'm still going to just pull some Rass of the Generous End. <clears throat> I'd assume they had a pump spell of some kind, which is why I was like, I'm not going to do this. Yeah, Village Rites draw three. Pretty good. Guild Sword Prowler is a sweet card. I need to order some popper stuff. That's good one. You should be running four wildfire, four geomancers, gambit. If you're not going Ponza route, 
Yeah, so I I wanted to try Kodama's Reach because I was curious to see how well that card worked, but I think it's probably I think Geomancer's Gambit's probably better, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, boy. We're about to have 10 on the field. That's a 15 15, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I can play Grazer, get another land down. Big boys, finally. You know, the turn eight, 15, 15. And play the generous end. Boom. <laughs> uh, why are they sacking Prowess when they can see our win con? I think he's trying to find an out. I think he's trying to find a uh, a removal spell, a cast down, a, or at the time, Chainer's Edict, something like that. So I think he just digged as fast as he could. Ask him when he hops back in chat. We're playing against Pigeon 2 Combat. Uh-oh, the boar. The boar is here. The combo, I know. That was a good top deck for us. Cleansing Wildfire has got to be one of my all-time favorite cards in the format. We still have it on trample damage, though. Going into today, all I wanted to do was have a 15-15 Rhino Beetle, right? That's all I wanted. And I got it, so I can't complain too much. Sure. Three, four, five, six. Play the Oliphant. I feel like Wild Player should give just no. <laughs> Get out of here, Pascal. You're drunk. Go home, you're drunk. It's Timmy Day. Yep. I'm a big fan of uh, Jund, though. I've well, Lotus has been jamming some Jund, and it makes me want to play Jund really bad. The Rhino Boy has got Trample. Why do I always feel like having more than 60 cards in a deck? Are you a Yorian player? <laughs> Lotus Jun has been a straight gas, right? It's been sweet. Uh, we have zero sideboard for this matchup, so let's just run it back. I guess we could bottom there. Do we? It's like we could bottom their Rancors, I guess. You know? I don't know. Let's go run it back. So many good cards <laughs> in the Jun deck. Yeah, the Jun deck's awesome. This deck, I don't know. I did. I thought Kodama's Reach would be a good combo with this, but maybe it just needs to be Geomancer's Gambit. Which feels fair. Yikes. Uh, I mean, we have two of our win cons, right? But we have nothing else. And we'll keep it. We could draw into some. I truly want a 40 card constructed, 40 card format, not called draft. Make one, you know? I do believe, though, it's called Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yikes. That's a big puppy. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, what I like about this is it allows us to still cycle the generous int, too. I like that's really cool. Um... Let's get down the red source that can also tap for blue. And then we'll cycle this generous scent. The next turn we have Pulse of Marassa. 
We change the minimum to 80 instead. Then just play Commander. <laughs> 40 card Vintage would be... Oh. Hugh G. Ow. <laughs> That's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> Y'all move. It's time to do 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 I'm just saying Yu-Gi-Oh! on a Saturday morning slapped. The whole four kids block slapped. Um, Does it matter if we get a tap land? I want to get untap land. That way we can turn five rhino beetles here. Turn four rhino beetles, I should say. Can we get glory bringers down, Chef? Four kids, Jackie Chan Adventures? Hell yeah. Exactly. Okay. We just keep rhino beetling every turn. I'm assuming this is going to be a village rights on the shoat here. Sorry. Corrupted conviction. <laughs> I stand corrected. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna throw the grazer underneath the bus of the dog and pulse the morassa. Yikes. Alright. I'm gonna throw a boreal grazer underneath the boar. Pulse. Get you back. Let's start playing land. Damn it. Let's start playing our our rhinos. Our rhinox here. Aw. Bad day. Now we're, yeah, now we're in trouble. <laughs> All right, you got it. I'm just going to run it back. Commander's 100 card, card minimum. And only have one of each, right? I wouldn't mind the 100 if the opponent has, also has to, but... The one of hurt my need for consistency. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I don't like Commander very much. <laughs> it's a four-player nonsense I don't mess with. I, I mean, there's a lot of Commander I personally am not a fan of, but if you like Commander, by all means, love it. I know a lot of people really, really like it. I, I'm not a fan of the 100 card one only. I'm not a fan of the 100 cards, and I'm not a fan of the... They all got to be. God damn. You think a deck that's supposed to ramp into 10 lands would have more lands, right? Post Malone likes it. True. Julie lasts for six episodes with flashbacks. <laughs> um, holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna up the I'm gonna up the lands. Hundred percent. All right, we're gonna keep this. <laughs> um, and then I also I'm not a fan of Magic as a multiplayer game. Uh, keep this bottom. You, you, damn. Oh, this is more of a fight between two disabled warriors, but hey. <laughs> Nested Shambler is pretty good, though. 
You can do a lot with Nested Shambler. Uh, let's cycle this bad boy and go find a basic forest so we can basic forest into Arboreal Grazer and dump the Highland Forest. Ooh, good draw. Um, Arboreal Grazer. You down and pass. Pretty land, by the way. Thanks. That was the thing with this tournament. So many people had blinged out decks, and I saw so many different basic land types. I was like, ooh, I like that a lot. Never tried multiplayer, just noticed whenever I saw cards that say, like, each opponent definitely feel like they would be some keywords to search for. Yeah, true. Carrion Feeder. Let's get... Eh, Breath Weapon doesn't do a whole lot of good for us, does it? Pulse Morass is not half bad, though. Let's Commodus Reach here. I'm not a big fan of this card. The more I play it, the more I'm like, yeah, not, not crazy about this one. Oh no, turn off auto yields. Cause we can play land this turn. <laughs> like, don't do it. Hi there, puppy. What you doing, buddy? I will say, ya boy was on camera, kind of, twice, and I lost both games. O2. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Papa. How you doing, bub? Got a goop in your eye. Get to my boogie. Yikes. Nested Shambler with the Rancor. With the Rancor? That carrion feeder is deadly. Okay. Two, three, pick up Generous Int. I can cycle it and Breath Weapon. I think I'm just going to Breath Weapon here. I think that's probably the better play. With the chicken strips. All right. Getting in with all the dorks. Breath weapon you. Okay, so he's prioritizing the carrion feeder. Yep, that's what I would do too. I'd let the nested shambler die and then get the tokens off of it. Good play, pigeon. Good play. I'll take the four. I think we're going to be too slow here. Oh no, and a bone picker? Yikes. They're empty handed. I was like, breath weapon. <laughs> Gain some life here. Don't you fairy macabre me. Mountain cycling. Okay. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a, a million damage here. A boreal grazer is going to go underneath the bone picker. Mm, it's going to go probably underneath the carrion feeder. It sucks that, you know, death touch is a thing, but. True fight. <laughs> yeah, 
this is a lot of cards coming in. We we really need like top deck breath weapon. That's like our our best option. But even then, they just make carrying feeder like thirty seven million. I don't think breath weapon saves us here. Let's buy some time. Buy in some time. And this is where he casts down it. And then I become big sad. No! Don't do it. Try to conviction, draw some cards. Don't do it. I've been tinkering with Gruel Elephants, and I think I'm finally happy with it. I just haven't played it in over a week. Yeah, I want to get to that list. You're talking about the Popper Elephant list, right? Because I do want to get to that list at some point. It looks super fun. Yep. Nice. It looks really fun. I actually thought about putting that Elephant uh, token card in this deck. Oh, quit playing stuff with Death Touch. And the spell bomb, not the spell bomb. He has to eat three things here to save it. I lied. He has to eat two things here to save it. <laughs> Go down to eight. Wildfire one, two, three, four, five, six. Yikes, let's not do that. I didn't realize that wasn't an artifact land. <laughs> Make another one. My plan is to double block carrying feeder. Because they do have Rancor in hand. God, come on. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Yep. So I'm not spending anyone to make this deck work. You might want to use cards like Fling and Ram Through. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> For sure. We could put like a one of Fling. I After this match, I'm going to do a little bit of tinkering with it. I don't know if we'll get another game in because I got to run to the store uh, before work. But we're definitely going to tinker. That's for sure. He's got the gas. He's got the gas. Because he's also got the Rancor in hand. GG. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. GG's, Pigeon. We did get the Rhino once. We got the Rhino once, right? Uh, Yeah, so let's talk. Geomancer's Gambit. Um, I don't even know if I want to keep on the same pathway here. 
trying to think. GG's Pigeon, it was cool. I'm all in a five and four and four last game. It was pretty low resource game. Yeah. Yeah, but carrying feeder, you got those nested shamblers. Ooh. That's that's why I love carrying feeder, nested shambler. So good. So good. GG's. GG's, buddy. Um, hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think here. Gross spirals kind of cool. Haven't been crazy about it. Warrior grazer, I still think's fine. Had some boarding parties and call today. Yeah, <laughs> right. I I think I think Kadama's reach is actually not very good at all. Uh, very underwhelmed by that card. Um, to be honest, I think the land cyclers, a tap in wildfire decks, you want real draws and extra land drop and not cycling. You might be right. I thought Jenner Scent would be good, but you're probably right. I think I'm gonna keep generous int in though. Um I'm gonna go out to Lorian Revealed. I think Gross Spiral's fine. I wish I had more of these islands, right? I think Int's fine too. <clears throat> I don't think Lorian's fine. I will say that. I think Lorian can go. Mm, I guess you're right. Boarding party. You can't cycle for artifact lands at least. Yeah, I, you're right. You're right about that. But does it lower pulse efficiency to cut them off? Got to draw a lot of cards or fetch beetle. Yeah, I don't think it'll, I don't think it will if we maybe play some like fetch lands. Yeah, relics main deck are probably better than the sideboard. I just figured like having some kind of like main deck answer plus a draw. You know what I mean? But you're probably right. We'll mess with the sideboard here in a minute. Um, two broker hideouts. Two theater. That kind of turns pulse a lot more on, doesn't it? If that's the case, then we can go down a lot of these lands right here. In a way, you know? I don't know. Yeah, probably should, right? Let's go up another island. Let's let's see if I go get another one of these islands. Before I switch over. Island. March of the Machine. And I'm just gonna go back to the I'm just gonna go back to these ones. Two and then we should go up a mountain too, right? Theater only fetches red and blue, so if you want a green red fetch, you could do river tears. Hmm. I think it's I think it'd be better if it's River Tears. I think I think uh I think red green's our main color, you know. Can I I'll just type in river. Really? What am I missing here? Riv Tears. 
because it's not river. Ripe tears, or however you say it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, broker searches green blue, so I figure you want that for sure. Yeah, I think brokers we want for sure. I think uh, Outlook's the other one. Thing is, we don't really need to benefit from landfall except for Kalani. Well, I, I'm I'm getting there with that, right? Uh, also, it it does benefit because it turns on uh, pulse of Myasa a lot more. Need some life gain in my Demir deck, and then I'm nearly finished. I think it's pretty slow though. Yeah, I'd be curious about it for sure. I'm saying we need some landfall for show. Well, you know, we're playing the GM Answers game, but we're playing Cleansing Wildfire, Growth Spiral, Boreal Grazer, so like this is starting to shape up, right? I ordered them, so we're just waiting for them to come in. Firm trade. All right. There are popper landfall cards. They gain life. I forgot the names. It's kind of like these, though, right? Is that what you're talking about? Um, Hard Expedition. Free quest counter. Search the library for up to two basic land cards. Put on the battlefield tap. So the only problem I have with that is the artifact land combo with wildfire and geomancer's gambit because we got to search for basic lands with that and these so no landfall creatures oh yeah yeah there's there's a ton of landfall creatures i played a landfall deck not super duper long ago but part of me thinks like maybe we don't want the hard expedition just because Let's let's not do a hard expedition build quite yet. Let's play play around with a little bit and see how that works. I still like Pulse of Marassa as a four of one, two, three, four. So we have ten. So yeah. Ten. What if we did evolving wilds? I think Gambit is a one or two of. Okay. Well, we got to trim two cards anyway, right? Let's try this build first. I kind of like what I'm seeing here. Sideboard-wise, uh, I'm going to not play Relic at all. I'm just going to play Fairy Macabre. Seems weird, but that's what I'm going to do. I bet only two GM Rangers game it too. Yep. It would suck if they blew up Heart of Expedition with Dawnbringer's Clerk. We pop off. That is true. I didn't think about that. That is true. That's why I have all you lovely people. You have a much deeper, dense knowledge of the card pool, and <laughs> I also forget a lot of things. My memory is like a fish bowl it's got a few dead fish in it you know what I mean this is probably going to be the last game just because I got to run in town um, but I do like the look of this list better you know although I don't like the look of this we were playing like 30 plus lands right Okay, finally. Not like super in love with this either, though. We're playing with 24 lands. and <laughs> uh, Keep this. Maybe I should have kept the other hand. I'm going to bottom the island and the forest. Uh, 
I think the first one might not have been terrible since we were favored to draw lands. Maybe. Maybe you're right. But we do have like just two grazers not going to do anything, right? Thirty plus? No, we're not thirty plus. I was just joking when I said that. Something worth noting is we are playing artifact land, so they could deglamor them, and that would be ultra annoying or cast in a fire them. Oh shit! Let's go. This is the one land spy hand. Oh, phew. He had me worried there for a second. <laughs> um, Terrible late game draw. Awesome to have exactly one in the opener. I'm a two grazer kind of guy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this looks more like Tortex with Grave Scrabbler and stuff. 100% agree. Well, they're going to be a little slow. Potentially. <laughs> I was wondering how the giant would work. You know what I mean? How that would like turn together. We just have the fairy, right? That's all we have for this matchup pretty much. There's the boarding party. Uh, with that, I think I'm just gonna cycle this generous int. Torex has become a big boy these days. Really? Has Torex been popping off? Cause I would love to go back to it. Ooh, and they're playing Crawling Infestation. Let's go. Abzan, okay. That Crawling Infestation is going to make me cry. All y'all said this card sucks. <laughs> Cut the main deck, Rilla face. Dude, yeah. Yep. That's, uh, that's, that's the Karmitic Justice coming back to haunt me after I teased the... Uh, Aspiring Spike behind his back about doing the same thing. <laughs> a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, um, there lived a samurai named Aspiring Spike. I was running through a modern uh, league with Dredge, and I'm going to get a second blue source, just in case we draw a Lorien. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep this generous scent. Anyway... Uh, Aspiring Spike was playing a Merc Tide deck, and right before he got paired with me, he was taught telling chat that he cut like pretty much all graveyard hate because he's not really ran across any graveyard decks, so he's not that worried about it. And then immediately paired into me playing Dredge. <laughs> Gotta use brainstorms, apparently. I love it though. I love the what is this? Banalish Sleeper. I don't feel if it was kicked. Each player sacrifices a creature. That's interesting. Huh. I like the infestation though. I don't know if our opponent has uh has this turned on or not, but I want them to know that I'm loving this list. Uh it's Orzov Fleshbag, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Cool. They're gonna hard cast the stinky boy? That just kills our boardy boy. Had to go. Did you do the thing? I did have a 15-15 beetle one time. I've had it one time. And we did win the game with it. My Demir deck is slowly turning mono black. Feel it. Feel it, feel it. Uh, do we just boarding party here? Oh, this is the fair giant dredge deck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we just boarding party here. What? I might just boarding party and not attack because of Stinkweed Imp. I don't want them to dredge Stinkweed Imp. They don't really have a dredge target right now. Do they actually cast it? Like what, cast the giant? I doubt it. They just haven't milled over the other thing yet. I 
Not very good. Yeah, not gonna dredge Stinkweed Imp. But I guess Crawling Infestation could mill over. Okay, just mowed over another Torture Existence. They flash back with Dread Return still. It's just not one land spy. Yeah. Oh, shit. And they have the Bartered Cow thing with Cauldron Familiar. Okay. Oh, are they just hard cast Bartered Cow? What's happening right now? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> No blocks. I sure did, Pucker. <laughs> the Rhino has Trample. The Rhino does have Trample. We just got to get to the 10 lands to do so. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to Lori in here. Uh, I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to cycle this generous scent. You'd be funny though, is like if we can miss them not having dread return yet and then just pull some Marasso, they're giant. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Unfortunately, they do get to dredge the stinkweed dump, which is super unfortunate. Still none yet. Not gonna block. It would be funny to hold up this <laughs> pulse of Marassa to target the giant, but I'm sure they have another one. Another boarding party? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I was gonna cycle that generous scent too, wasn't I? I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, I missed the int cycle. So we could play another boarding party, see what we hit. I mean, breath weapon's really cool, right? Or we could just hold on Pulse of Marassa. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they can almost just cast it. I would play Beetle. You added win cons? We tried to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight. Yeah, I was supposed to. I was supposed to. Just setting up the field. Like in two turns, you attack for a billion. That's true. But we got to draw the lands to do so, though, right? Yeah, that's fair. I don't have enough mana to do both, though. To cycle. So 5-5, five, five, only gain 10-10 ten, ten from 10 lands. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, like, if they mill over Dredge return, we pull some Arras of the Giant, but they're only, like, one mana away from just playing the Giant, like, outright. So, well, I guess we could go Crash, Grazer, Grazer, and pass. And then just throw Grazers under the bus. I mean, we're dead if they if they giant anyway, right? 
So maybe we need a Pulse of Marassa. Hmm. Gonna Pulse now. Get back our Generous Int. Grazer. No, that's stupid. Hold on. Play this game better like we know how to play the game. See what happens. I don't think that was the right play, though. There's the dread return. Are we dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Oh, we only went down to five. Never mind. Hold on. There might be some life in these sheets here. Um. Yeah, yeah, I know. It kills my grazers. Sure. Okay. Five. All right, now we're just dead. Now we're just dead unless we hit... Something good. Spin the dice. Pulse of Marassa. Let's go. Let's get another generous scent. We go up to 11. And... Cleansing Wildfire. That's got four cycling, so let's just grab the mountain. River Tears. Just to gain the life. All right. Let's see what happens here. What's up, Jason? How's it going, buddy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven. And I swing for forty five. It's a response. <laughs> But we're working on here, right? They're currently out of... They're currently out of dredgers in the graveyard. Play another Stinkweed Imp, sure. And a brown scale. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think there's a way we win here, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they have exact Z's on us. Unless we play Generous Int. We can play a Jenner scent and a beetle, but then we can't crack the clue, the food token. <sighs> Where's our boarding parties? I mean, auto boarding parties are, uh, 
Yeah, we gotta play in food. Where's our breath weapons? Uh, I played against a bunch. Uh, the Modern, I played against uh, two Scam decks, two Murktide decks, Tron, Burn, Blue-Red Blitz. Am I missing any? Two, two, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm forgetting one of the one of the matches I played against. Is it two mana? Um. Yeah, I'm forgetting one of them in modern that I played against, and then yeah, they milled over Dread Return. Uh, Fairy Macabre, obviously. Come on in, and then to Glamour, and then I think we can go down. For us personally. <clears throat> I think I'm going to trim out Gross Spirals, two Grazers, two Ents. Uh, and then Pioneer, I played against Monogreen Devotion, which was crazy. Uh, Racto Sacrifice, a Mill Deck, and this, uh, cool, like, Dross Archfiend Thassa's Oracle combo deck, and this, like, infinite damage, uh, combo deck that I can't remember what the cards were that were in it, but it, it, the the infinite damage combo deck that I can't remember the name of is the one that was uh, featured in round one on the stream. So you can check that out on Apex Gaming if you want. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. This is actually like a pretty solid hand. I think anyway. <laughs> Had a really good time though. It was really fun. Went 4-4 four, four with Rack. Uh... Another player was playing a very traditional eight rack top eight with it. Uh, I got to talk to him and interview him for the channel, so that's really cool. Those videos, uh, I didn't get much work on them today because I was just transferring over footage, but I'm going to be working on them through the week. Hopefully get them out relatively soon. I think I'm just going to de-glamour this on their end step. Wow, that's annoying. Right back at you. That's why they just had another one anyway. <laughs> Um, yep, I, I figured when I play it, you know, I never have it, but are we not going to draw any more lands? What's happening here? Troll of Kazdom. Peak magic, apparently. Let's eat those with Fairy Macabre. How what did Bowmasters do? Are they changes you would make to the set? Yes. Uh, so my version of 8-Rack was different than Trey's version of 8-Rack. Trey was on a very similar, play, still playing Smallpox. My version, I was on the Scam version with Augur of Skulls. I did get to Feign Death, Augur of Skulls, and Upkeep. So I got to discard four 
Uh, didn't matter. I still got turn three on hammer time twice, but I did get to do it. Um, what I would do is I'd trim two auger of skulls out of the list. I'd keep two. I'd trim two, and I would add a shadow sphere, and probably maybe like a one of Inquisition or a one of uh, Raven's Crime. I haven't decided. Probably a one of Inquisition. It's probably what I would change out of my list. But I think. Um, Sure. I think what that's what I would do. If I do know Trey, the one at top date with his eight rack build was running three pithing needles main and a shadow sphere main. And then he had four rack effects. So, yeah, the opponent has an awesome Torax list, 100%. 100% agree. It's Wrecking House, for sure. I like it a lot, honestly. Uh, Let's go get, I guess, another Forest. I do have another mountain in this deck, don't I? Yeah, okay. I'll get another forest, and then I'm going to pull some Rasta for the Broker's Hideout on their end step. Um, I could do this, I guess, right? I could pull some Arasa. Do we pull some Arasa for our land, or we pull some Arasa to pick up the Int from their hand? You just get land out of it. Hey, I'm just going to pick mine up. I could have got Fairy Macabre. Damn it, I didn't think about that. Shit. I should I could have got Fairy Macabre out of that, and then it would have just blinked it. Fuck. I clicked too quick on the land, just forgetting all about Fairy Macabre. Gosh damn it. So close, but yet so far. I done goofed, kids. I done goofed. That's the thing, I guess. Um, just go get another land. Yeah, fairy definitely did the would uh, would have done the job. That's for sure. I will say that when you have twenty four lands in the deck and you whiff for two turns in a row on lands, it's not it's not the best. It's not going well for you. I'm just going to boarding party next turn. I don't really have a reason not to. Sure. I guess boarding party could find fairy macabre and that would be not so bueno. Uh, no chumps. Cossack Caterpillar. Why are they bringing in so much artifact enchantment hate for me? I don't have, like, anything they can target with that stuff. It's worth noting Dread Return is a sorcery, right? I have zero creatures or dredgers in the graveyard. This boarding party might backfire drastically on me, but it is what it is. Okay, cool. I guess you can choose if you want to cast it, right? You don't have to cast it. And a Pulse of Marassa? Hell yeah, let's go. 
Uh, I have no reason to attack until we get closer to a kill shot because I don't want to give them targets for tortured existence. I guess they, well, I, they would have to blow up their own thing, right? I guess they could still target my artifact lands, right? Do you like the scan package over smallpox and removal? Uh, yes and no. They're different beasts, and because of that, they're they're different beasts. So I have different like thoughts on them. Does that make any sense? Where it's like, yeah, it's you know what? I don't know. I'm indifferent on it, honestly. I do think smallpox. I haven't been impressed with it. Trey says the other, the otherwise that smallpox is still like the best card in the deck. Um, I'm indifferent on smallpox. I I've been in a lot of matchups where it's been bad, but maybe with preordain un being unbanned and meta shifting a little bit, maybe it is really good. I'd have to retry it. Obviously, it ran great for him. His deck ran a lot better. Than mine did so. But I also think the scam package with rack is very powerful. And is definitely worth playing, so. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be ten. Completely clean their board off. Paul Samarasa, Brooker's Hideout. Yeah, I'm going on Paul Samarasa, Brooker's Hideout. Feels good, man. It did feel good, yeah. Pulse for Brokers on their end step, leave up. Yeah, for sure. Bartered Cow to get Fairy Scrabbler. I mean, the Grave Scrabbler, sure. They do have a Cauldron Familiar, but we're about to have a 15 15. Pick up the commando, sure. And the caterpillar, sure. I've been playing eight rack for years and tested pretty much everything and kept coming back to smallpox. I used 20 removal spells main deck. Holy smokes. It's a lot. Uh yeah, I'm a huge fan of eight rack too. It's my favorite deck in the whole like format. It's not even close. All right, Geomancer's Gambit. Let's get even more lands here. Uh, yeah, let's just get you. That's piece of candy. Okay, just hold up Fairy Macabre. Comes in the Cauldron Familiar, sure. I don't think they can kill me this turn.
They're going to pick back up Bartered Cow. I can't remember exactly what's in their hand, but I'm just going to take these two. I'm just going to do it now. Just so they're gone. Speaking my kind of language there, Jason, I don't quite run 20, but I do go pretty heavy in the removal. Feel it. But yeah, I like the scam rack. It just, my list did not run super duper well for me. I missed two triggers. Hey, there we go. I missed two triggers the uh, whole tournament with eight rack. I missed one eight rack trigger, one rack trigger where it would have done one damage and it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered. And then I missed one, and it's not a trigger I missed, but I did miss one Bowmaster's flash in um, <clears throat> because it was like late in the tournament. And I kind of just spaced out. Like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of just zoned out for a second at the table. I was like, yeah, sure. That's fine. And I was like, what happened? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, damn it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's kind of how that went. But yeah, you know, happens. Lead on the kitty cat, eh? Yep. This cat's going to do some damage. I will say it seems nice. Like, Torex has a little bit more now play. Thanks to, like, Dread Return and stuff. I like this build our opponent has. Kind of wish this Lorien Revealed was a generous int instead. You can't wait to watch your videos from this past weekend. Yeah, so I think Saturday's video, I'll just be up front. I just filmed it very vlog style. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, I think Sunday's video is going to turn out really, really good. That was the one where, you know, I ran the Challenger deck through the tournament. I think that video is going to turn out pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Hit a stinky, a stinky winky boy. Broker's hideout. Do I want to hold up the glamour? I think I can get away with a turn of not deglamoring. I think it'd be better to Broker's hideout this turn. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Broker's hideout. I'm going to pick up another. Probably get the other island out of the deck. So what I think I'm going to grab here. So that way, if we wanted to cast Lorian Revealed, we can. If we decide not to go to that route of, like, you know what I mean? You're right about... Bull, you're right about uh, a Boreal Grazer being a bad late-game top deck, but it feels like it's, like, kind of necessary to have at the beginning. You know what I mean? Caterpillar's not that exciting... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to lead with the forest here. No, I'm not. We're going to play the Grazer, throw down Tangle Pool, and then just leave up to Glamour. Grazer blocks nicely. And then we can hopefully... Pulse of Marassa next turn. Excuse me for Broker Hideout. There's also a part of me that likes just holding on to Pulse of Marassa just to kind of screw them up a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to block. I have no reason not to. I 
Our opponent's stuck on mana. I don't want to miss a land drop, so I'm just going to do this now. Uh, let's get another red source. We can't get a red source with this. Okay. Understandable. I don't have much pressure, like pressure for playing the beetle quite yet, but I'm probably just going to play the beetle next turn. Like our opponent's not doing very much right now. There's the tortured existence. Are they holding up? One, two, three. I'm just going to Lorian Revealed here. I don't think I'm that concerned with tortured existence quite yet. I don't think. I'm just going to do it now. I thought I have Witching Well over Grazer for Scry and Draw 2, maybe even Thoughtcast. I don't really know. I don't really know, though. The list is good right now, I think. I'm liking this list so far. I still don't think this is like an ultra-competitive deck yet. I don't think it's ever going to get that way. Getting to 10 lands is kind of obnoxious. <laughs> we're trying our we're trying our darndest out here, right? And it's just... It, getting to 10 lands is kind of crazy. But, man, does it feel good. Does it feel good to... Hey, we got there. Does it feel good to hit with a 15-15? I think this list is much better than what I had. I will say that. I think the sideboard maybe leaves for some desiredness. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to have to bounce for today. Tomorrow, we're going to be playing more Popper. We're going to be playing Popper, I think, this entire week, except for maybe one day, because I might be making one day Pioneer to venture into that little format for a little bit. But I haven't fully decided, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But for right now... I'm probably just going to spend the next day or two messing with the Rhino Beetle list before I start messing with Tortured Existence, before I start messing with Mono Black Control with uh, some of the new cards. So, cheers for the stream. Thank you, Ragamuffin. Cheers on the new job. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, Yeah, I, I'm going to bounce for today. Uh, This week, like I said, I'm going to be working on... um. I'm going to be working on uh, the videos I recorded over the weekend and get those out. But uh, for now, I'm going to bounce. I got to run to the store. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. If you want to support the channel, you can consider becoming a member. 99 cents a month or $1 a month gets, month gets you access to the community Discord server along with the custom emotes and a little badge next to your name. I also want to shout out uh, Pigeon for also for the three months. Thank you so much for the support. If uh, you just want to follow for free, best way you can do so is just by liking, subscribing, and sharing the comment, commenting on the comment, commenting on the comment, commenting on the content. All that goes a long way as well. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we are back with Popper, and it feels good until, I guess it feels good unless we play Terror a bunch. Uh, <laughs> you know, it feels good when we don't play main the main meta, but... We're working on stuff. We'll get back into the groove of things. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody.